Hi Willemine, welcome. Thank you very much for speaking with me today. Um, can you just tell me, first of all, how you became involved in breastfeeding research? Uh, yes, well, our uh, research group um, has do, um, been doing a lot of research on how to optimize nutrition for uh, premature neonates. Mm -hmm. And this is important because we know that um, the way you feed children uh, in the first few uh, weeks um, or months after premature birth has a major impact on their later functional outcome. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's really difficult to feed these infants because uh, their um, intestinal system is very immature and they have a lot of complications like feeding intolerance, but also um, intestinal infections and bloodstream infections. And we know that uh, mother's own milk protect these infants from uh, getting these infections and from getting uh, intestinal uh, difficulties. So um, uh, we want all these children to have milk of their own mother, expressed milk. And uh, it's often unavailable for the infants. So that's why we decided to start a breast milk bank. But uh, if you have milk from a bank, uh, this milk is um, pasteurized and it's uh, deep frozen. Mm -hmm. So we know that this influences the quality of the milk. And the question is, uh, does donor milk has the same beneficial effect as uh, mother's own milk? Or doesn't it have too many advantages over giving these infants uh, preterm formula? And if you look in the literature, uh, all the studies that have been done on this topic are very old, 30 years old. Um, so basically, um, since then, um, uh, yeah, our care for these infants has changed, but also the quality of preterm formula has changed. Um, changed and it has become much better than 30 years ago so we still need to answer these questions uh, that uh, in uh, modern medicine is there any uh, additional value of uh, donor milk if you compare it to formula so that's how I got involved in um, uh, the, this science and your role here at the free um, the free medical center in Amsterdam uh, well, I work uh, at the department of neonatology and um, I'm doing a research fellowship. Um, I'm an um, MD. And at the moment, I'm uh, involved in setting up the milk bank and um, uh, spending uh, a lot of time on uh, organizing the uh, screening and testing program for the um, milk donors. Uh, but at the same time, I'm um, uh, involved in organizing uh, multi-center trials on the effects of donor milk. Excellent. Um, and I'm very grateful that you've agreed to speak at our sixth international breastfeeding symposium. And the main focus is the science and of human and human milk. Can you tell me what you will be speaking about at the conference? Uh, yes. Um, well, I will uh, tell something about our milk bank, uh, how we established it, and um, how we run it. And uh, well, there are a lot of. Um, uh, yeah, unknowns about the effects of human milk, but there are also some things we know. Um, I sp uh, will specifically talk about donor milk, what is known and what is not known, and I will, of course, uh, uh, speak about our research. And the key messages that you would like the audience to take away with them from your talk? Yeah, well, an important message um, will be uh, that um, early nutrition has a major impact uh, on later health of premature neonates. Um, you can really see the effects into adulthood. And um, that as long as um, a lot of our premature neonates don't have an outcome that is comparable to uh, healthy full-term infants, uh, there is still a lot of work for us to do there. And uh, um, well, I think that donor milk can make an important uh, contribution to their health, but uh, that we also at the same time need to do more research about the effects. And uh, I think that there also uh, can be improvements made in um, the, yeah, the, bilk, the milk banking um, protocols.